Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another elevator. And this one is called the Gear Elevator, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a small block elevator that's been encased in large blocks that utilizes no mods and no scripts. The way it gets you from point A to point B is thanks to these little grooves along the side here. And if you were to drop down and come straight to the platform that will ride, all the way down to the bottom, here we go, what we'll find is another set of grooves on a wheel attached onto a rotor onto the platform. So when we press a button, the wheel will start to spin and we'll dig into the gaps and we'll pull you to the top. We'll just come back over to here, have a quick look in the F10 menu, and then we'll ride it all the way to the top. So pressing F10, finding the gear elevator in the spawn menu, here it is. This thing is 6,621 large and small blocks using the Wasteland DLC packs. As you can see there, it uses no mods and no scripts. So there we go with that. And it also does mention that if you want to make a multi-floored elevator out of this, you will need to mess around with sensors, which is what I've done over there. So without further ado, just going to grab hold of my character and we're going to walk along this path right here. So these are our barred window blocks from the Wasteland DLC packs that's going to allow us to walk onto the elevator. Once we're on here, we've got a few options. So the last button here is going to be the first one we press, which is the lock and unlock the connector. This is going to make sure we're locked in place while spawning this in, so it doesn't go all clangy and blow up. So yes, we all want to make sure this is unlocked. Then we've got this button in the middle. This will change the direction of the elevator with a very handy rotor below it, telling you where you're going. So there we go with that. And the final button is the stop go, where we can see press it. Our little fence there will raise up and will keep us nice and protected so we can't fall off this. And we'll eventually raise to the top in a quite speedy fashion, actually. So here we go, if I bring the free camera over and bring it up to where our wheels are being kept. Here we go, put my light on, try and match the same speed here. There we go. You can see how that's gripping into the walls there. There are some sparks, so there is some kind of risk of it blowing up if you make it go faster, but as it stands, it's pretty damn solid. And yes, once we get to the very top, we will hit into these wheels, it will stop in place, and we'll be ready to go back down. So there we are with that. We just bounce into the wheels, which makes it nice and protected, so we don't damage any of the blocks on the elevator. And yes, once we're at the top here, we've got a fantastic view of the area around us. And if we want to move down, we simply press the middle button, and it'll make us go down. At any point, if we want to stop the elevator, we can just press that and it will just stop and deploy our little ramp to get off. Yes, that is how that functions. And as for the two programmable blocks here, they currently have nothing set up. So there's that one. We come to here. There's that one. We also have a camera on the opposite side. So if you want to spy on the people in the elevator, that's what you can use it for. Coming all the way over to this one, I have set up a multi-floored elevator with simply a intermittent stop. I got myself a sensor block to detect a... It's a rather rudimentary setup because I couldn't get the sensor block to detect a subgrid to stop. So instead, I have trapped a version of myself in a little cage and told the sensor to detect a player. So if I was to drop all the way down to the bottom here, like so. Here we go. We're now going to tell it to go up. And what we're going to do is slowly move up and up and up. Until we eventually hit the rudimentary sensor stopper and it should stop itself and deploy the ramp there we go and now we can walk off all nice and proper yes i did have some troubles with getting that all set up which is why i'm using a character but it seems to work very very well so yes that is something that you could do if you have more luck than me with a sensor block you could use a more sensible design but that is how you use it to make a multi-floored elevator and of course once we're ready when you tell it to go back down like so, that'll fold up, and down we go. Change the direction once again, and we will come back to a stop. There we go. And of course, we can just tell it to keep going, and we'll eventually get to the very top. So that is basically it for what the gear elevator does and how to use it. It's a very simplistic design that's easy to paste in and go. The setup for the multi-floor elevator, like I said, can be a bit wonky depending on if the game can detect any kind of subgrids or whatever you're using as a stop. 
but I'm sure someone will come up with a script or even a simple design to make it work a bit better than just having a copy of yourself trapped in a cage. So yes, there will be a link to the gear elevator in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is a fantastic setup and it is fun to use if you can incorporate it into your designs. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.